So for those that have been asking me, when am I dropping these smocks? I'm gonna be dropping them as soon as they're done. We're gonna have them in white and black on black. So stay tuned, cause we will be dropping these jersey-like barber smocks. Print in the front, we got the print in the back. Stay tuned for that. What's going on, Fader Culture? It's Sergio Barron, and we're back again with another haircut tutorial. Today, I got my boy Nicholas here. A lot of y'all had been asking me to do a slick back haircut, so I finally found a model for y'all. Uh, he's still trying to let it grow into a full slick back. He has kind of like this stubborn area that wants to go forward. I'm gonna just break down my step-by-step -step process on how to deal with that and do a low fade on the sides. Hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. If y'all do, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Also, make sure y'all are subscribed to the channel and feel free to share the channel to anybody that y'all think might find this tutorial beneficial. So with that being said, guys, let's just jump right into this tutorial. Give me a shout out. A quick shout out to the cameraman. Uh, Adrian, Adrian. <laughs> Alright guys, so to start this haircut, first what I'm going to do is kind of saturate his hair, section out the top from the sides, uh, just so that we can start setting in our guidelines to do our fade. You put your clips right here, that's way it's faster than kind of. Hey, it was hitting me. <laughs> so before we start sectioning, um, you wanna make sure you have a comb and you're gonna use this pick right here to actually help section the hair. Locate the swirl first and foremost and uh, go based off of that. And then from here, I'm gonna just section out to the front. Make sure you kind of push and you're just gonna go all the way to the front and you see how I grip the hair with my thumb, I hold that down and the rest of the hair, I kind of comb downwards. And then you could comb the rest of it the other way. Clip the hair out of the way, stays out of the way. So yeah, that's how you know, your hair should naturally just kind of want to lay down and that's how you know you got a clean section. He wants that slick back, we want this hair to connect to this length on the back. So for now, uh, right now the section, I'm gonna just quickly dry this out and with the two and a half guard, just kind of blend up to there. All right guys, so now that the top is sectioned out, this side part is dry and ready to cut with the clipper. I'm gonna throw on the number two guard with the lever open and start kind of blending up until this little dark ridge right here to basically start laying down our guidelines. Now all I'm gonna do is create my guidelines underneath that weight line and then later on towards the end I'll be able to come back and with my thinning shears kind of blend in a little bit of that weight line. To lay down my first guideline I'm gonna close the lever on the clipper all the way and uh, since he does want a low drop fade I'm gonna start my first guideline right here about the temple peak area and then I'm gonna make sure that it just kind of drops as I reach the back. All right, guys, so now that I'm down, down, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I'm down. So now that I'm done laying down my first guideline, I'm gonna wanna take a step back and kind of make sure that it's as even as possible from the back and from the front before moving on to the next guidelines, just cause this first guideline is the most important one. Cause if this one's not straight, then the whole haircut guidelines won't flow straight and it's just gonna look uneven overall. For the next guideline, all I'm gonna do is open the lever all the way on the clipper and I'm gonna come up about a finger in width, but then I'm gonna also keep in mind that since I created this weight line, I don't wanna blend too high into that, so I'm gonna consider that by keeping my three guidelines as low as possible, or at least in between this space that we see here.
So now that that guy line is laid down, for the next one, I'm gonna throw on the number one guard, still keeping that lever all the way open, and I'm gonna come up about another half inch, or maybe even a little less than a half inch, because like I said, we're just staying under this bulk area. All right guys, now that we're done laying down that next guy line, now what I'm gonna do is throw on the one and a half clip and I'm gonna position the lever on that three quarter spot. The three quarter spot, all it is is the lever positioned right in between the lever being all the way open and halfway open. So we're gonna find that middle ground spot and that's gonna be our three fourth spot. And then for that one, I'm gonna go ahead and take out this top guy line. We have these three guy lines, this one, the middle one, and then the first bo bottom one that we had created. We're not gonna pay attention to this bulk area right now. We're just gonna focus on blending out these three guy lines. So with that one and a half clip is what we're gonna use to blend out the top guy line right here. Alright guys, so now that we're done with that top line being blended out, next we're going to focus on taking out this middle guy line that you see here. For this one, it's going to take two guards to take out. First, I'm going to come in here with the half clip, still leaving that lever position on that 3 4 spot. And then whatever this guard don't take out, I'm going to come back in with the one guard to finish taking out whatever was left behind. So now that we've taken out most of that middle guy line with that half clip, you'll notice that it created a little bit of weight right above that guy line. To finish taking out that middle guy line, I'm gonna throw on that one clip now. I'm gonna still leave that lever position on that three fourths spot in between the halfway and all the way open uh, spot to finish taking out that guy line. All right, now that we're done with that middle guy line, now we're gonna focus on just taking out this initial first guy line that we laid down. For that one, to take it out, it's gonna take four lever positions. First, starting with the clipper opened a little bit, then open halfway, then on that three quarter spot, and then all the way. Just opening it gradually as we move up on that line until it's completely blended out. All right, now that we're done uh, taking out that first guideline completely, I'm gonna come in and, and do my touch-up work now. 
For that, all I'm doing is kind of locating any little dark areas or inconsistencies that I see in the fade. Uh, and then I'll determine what guard I need or what lever position I will need for that specific spot. For this one, I felt like I needed that half clip and I'll position the lever to that three fourth spot and kind of just pinpoint those dark areas that I see right here. And uh, I think on the other side as well and kind of just blend those out using the corner of the clipper. Now I'm gonna focus on taking out the rest of the bottom of the hair. For that part, I'm gonna come in with my trimmers first and I'm gonna kinda take out the top part of this bottom of the hair first. That way I kinda bought it out as much as possible. And then when I come out and take out the rest of it, um, we'll, we'll be able to distinguish a little faint line and that's gonna serve as another guideline to show us how high to come up with our electric shaper. All right, so now that I'm done shaving out the bottom of the hair, next I'm gonna go ahead and grab my thinning shears and a, a white comb. And what I'm gonna do is blend in some of this bulk without removing too much length. I'm gonna just kind of pull in, pull out straight words, and I'm gonna just kind of thin that out until it smoothly blends into the top. All right, now that we're done uh, thinning out this side length right here, so next I'm gonna just take off these clips, I'm gonna dampen his hair and just connect the top length to the sides, and then uh, we'll proceed with edging up the front. All right guys, so here all I'm gonna do is kind of lay down the first guideline right here, and then I'm gonna lay down the vertical bars and then just proceed with connecting them as straight as possible across his forehead. All right guys, now that we're done laying down the hard line on the front with the trimmers, now I'm gonna grab my Fade Culture Straight Razor. If y'all like to purchase these, I'm gonna leave them linked down in the description below as far as with all the tools that we used in this video. And I'm gonna also leave the steps in written format down there if y'all like to follow it, follow the steps that way. But uh, for the Turkish Razor, for those that are confused on how to use it, um, all you do is kind of pull out a double-edged razor, you snap it in half, and you just kind of insert it right here from the front side and then you just kind of put it in at your preferred exposure. Some people like it really tucked in, some people like it more exposed, so just kind of figure out what your preference is and then go ahead and set it in that way.
If you like to apply some enhancements, you can mix equal parts of hair dye and water into this portable air gun and then just grab any kind of business card or a straight card and kind of just spray it on the edges where you want to enhance. All right guys, so now that we're done with the enhancements, now all that's left to do is do the styling. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw some gel on it and just slick that hair back. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this haircut tutorial on a low fade with a slick back on top. Um, if y'all enjoyed this video, please guys don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and also make sure y'all are subscribed to the channel. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this haircut tutorial on a slick back with a low skin fade. If y'all enjoyed it, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and also let me know down in the comments what y'all thought about this tutorial. So really quick, here's the before. And then here's the after. Again, my name is Sergio Barron, this is Faded Culture, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.